complete the following. A. Find f of x for the indicated values of x, if possible, and B. Find the domain of f. The first value of x that we're given is x equals 4. To find f of 4, we'll substitute 4 for each x. We get f of 4 is equal to 1 over the square of 4 minus 9. The square of 4 is 16, and 16 minus 9 is 7, so the result is 1 -seventh. The next indicated value of x is the expression a minus 5, so we'll need to substitute that expression for each x. We get f of a minus 5 is equal to 1 over the square of a minus 5 minus 9. To simplify this expression, we can square the binomial. To square the binomial, we multiply a minus 5 times a minus 5. Multiply every term in the first factor by every term in the second. a times a is a squared. a times minus 5 is minus 5a. Minus 5 times a is minus 5a. And minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25. So the square of the binomial is a squared minus 10a plus 25. Substituting a squared minus 10a plus 25 for the square of a minus 5 gives us 1 over a squared minus 10a plus 25 minus 9. We can combine the two constant terms. 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. So the end result is 1 over a squared minus 10a plus 16. For part b, we're asked to find the domain of f. The domain is set of all the valid x values that we can substitute into the function. Sometimes it's easier to first think of the invalid x values, the values of x that will make our expression undefined. In this case, 1 over the square of x minus 9 is a fraction. Fractions are undefined when their denominators are equal to 0. So we need to think, what are the values of x that would cause x squared minus 9 to be equal to 0? By inspection, we can see that x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 3 or negative 3. The square of 3 is 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0. The square of negative 3 is also 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0. Therefore, the domain of f is all real numbers except for negative 3 and 3. We can write the domain of f in set builder notation as the set of x such that x does not equal negative 3 and x does not equal 3. We can verify a couple answers on our calculator. First of all, enter the mathematical formula into the calculator. Go to y equals and enter 1 divided by the quantity x squared minus 9. Make sure that you enclose x squared minus 9 in parentheses. Now we'll go to the home screen. Press second and then mode that quits and takes you to the home screen. Now on our calculator the name of our function is y1 rather than f. So to evaluate f of 4, we'll go to variables, v-a-r-s, move over to y variables using our right arrow key, select function, and then y1. We want to find y1 of 4. So we put parentheses, and then the number 4, and end parentheses, y1 of 4. We press enter. It gives us a decimal value. 
To convert that decimal value to a fraction, we can go to the math menu, select option number one, convert to fraction, and then enter, and it gives us the fraction one-seventh, which matches our first answer in part A. For part B, we can verify our answer by making a table of values. Let's go to second window, which is table set, and we've determined that the domain is all real numbers except for negative 3 and 3. So let's start a little bit to the left of negative 3 on the number line. Let's start at negative 5 and increment by 1 and see what happens. Make sure that the independent and the dependent variable are on auto. And then go to table, which is second graph. Notice at negative 3 that there's an error message. That tells us that the function is undefined when x is equal to negative 3. At all the other values of x, there's some numerical result for y1. So that means that negative 5 is in the domain, negative 4 is in the domain, and so on. If we continue to scroll down through the table, we see that when we get to x is equal to 3, there's another error message. This helps to validate our answer for part B.